see. Y'all, I wish y'all could see what I see because this is so chaotic. What? I added the plum fruit mod to my game. So I went ahead and gave her a nice little plum fruit laptop. I am one with the universe, period, bitch. Bitch, you couldn't pick the ni nicer place? Like, this is literally inside of a shipping container. I guess this isn't terrible, Elise, what the sun setting across the, con <laughs> the shipping container waters. Go ahead and make your little illustrated painting, sis. I know that's right. She wants to get another A plus for this term and all four of her classes. So she's going ahead and making her little poster. Loki and Grant, their names are definitely going to change. But let me know in the comment section, y'all, should they get both of these dogs? Should they only get one of the dogs? And which one should they get? Burnt the bridge, stay there, cause I'm cool over here. A one since day one, tell flaky bitches beware. I hustle, I do here, and I might take you in. But no, if that happens, it wasn't in the plans. In the back of the van, tied up like a hog. If a bitch feel dumpy, tell her gone, leave frog. Matter of fact, read the room. I'm the wife and the groom, cause nobody fucking with me from here to the moon. I'm in my own big world, I'm the number one girl. Pretty in the face, raised by some real niggas, so I'm thorough. Whether I'm rocking braids with sneaks or heels with the curl trophy. Type it's a wife, so buy me that. for your team, yes. Free game, how to keep a chick. Give her more money if she already rich. Give her love, even if you was a thug and stay out my DMs, nigga. If you was a scrub. Greetings and salutations, y'all. It's your girl, the Sarah O. Thank you for stopping by on this video. We are back with the Bonnet Chronicles. It's been a while since I have recorded. Please don't drag me, y'all. Life happens. So I'm here and we're back with Beverly and Jenny. Um, the last episode we stopped at, Gen uh, Genevieve basically started her journey into art and she's now a freelancer. And Beverly got an A plus GPA last period per black girl magic and um she is starting this new term with four classes yes. instead of her two that she Seven. aced last term so she over here you know she got her cute face mask on she's over here doing her homework she has class um very soon so we're gonna just get straight into gameplay if you haven't watched the first two episodes then why is you here you need to go to episode one and then catch up on all the tea and then join us but for those of you who do not know or who may not know um beverly is enrolled at clark atlanta university in the game and she is studying biology she wants to be a chief of medicine um my game literally broke on me like two months ago now so i had to go through the process of re-downloading a whole bunch of mods a whole bunch of custom content so if things look different in the game it is because i have basically been kind of working on my game since i had to bring it back to life so some of their you know um i think most of their traits are the same um the aspirations might have changed a little bit but for the most part they are you know still the bad bitches that we know <laughs> the baddest bitches or the baddest sim sitches i guess sitches whatever they're the baddest sitches that we know um so we're gonna go ahead beverly's heading to class she still has her fuckboy trait her sporty trait and her african trait and as you can see she got some new ones some of the same ones um i don't know what this vendor trait is i think it might be because they still own the sex shop it's still there um i'm contemplating selling it but for now we gonna keep it because you know i don't know what else to do <laughs> um genevieve right now she's upstairs not her ass is floating okay bitch she is in her zen she is over here chilling she's like can't nobody stress me i am one with the universe period bitch okay so <laughs> i'm gonna go ahead and uh show you guys her room beverly's classes are basically ba back to back this term glad that that notification popped up because i'm gonna have her ask take notes increases great grade gain and reduces fun need oh well um so she's gonna make sure she aces her classes this term as well uh oh get it together get it together okay um Beverly or not Beverly Jenny still has some of her traits um Shea Butter Baby Jiggy Dancer and um a few new ones as y'all can see and um still neutral about being pregnant right now she got her um ESFP trait so if y'all want to pause it and look at it real quick go ahead and do so per but shit is never boring around her basically and she like parties she like being outside all of that um she is a little bit tired so I'm gonna go ahead and let her go to bed because 
she needs to sleep. It's nine in the morning on Thursday. It is fall in my Sims game. So it is fall time. She's changing into um, her clothes to sleep. Looking at some of her movements while she's asleep. She had her first kiss with Elise um, the last episode. Acne immunity. This sim will be protected against acne while they have this buff. Buff. I don't know why I said buff. <laughs> buff. <laughs> and then delicious dish. A very satisfying meal she just ate. And not the best kiss from first kiss. It wasn't that great. But then again, I am not experienced myself. So they kiss wasn't all that. Beverly just came back. Um, Beverly turned in her homework confidently that class and squeezed every bit of knowledge she could out of it. That kind of effort will surely be a great help to her final grade in the course. Period. So Beverly's going to go ahead and go back to her next class because that shit literally starting right now. Do not go home. I love her little watermelon umbrella. Girl, if you don't put that hoe back on, it's raining. But yeah, look at her outfits, y'all. I probably need to show you guys some of their new outfits, but I'm going to just have y'all see it through the gameplay because at this point, I have not played my Sims game in so fucking long. So I'm not really in the mood to not do shit that don't involve gameplay for a little bit, but... You know, I might pop into create a sim and show it at the end or something. But for now, we just go and look at the game. Um, she's in her next class. I'm going to go ahead and have her take notes. Maybe I'll have her chat with students um, next term. Or I'll have her visit the campus. That way she can actually get to know some of her classmates. Because as of right now, the only way that she's meeting them is through soccer. Um, well, while they're asleep, let me kind of show you guys some of the... I said I'm only going to show gameplay, but real quick <laughs> let me show you guys some of the um updated looks to the rooms um i moved this over where is her painting oh shoot did i accidentally delete her um painting easel i accidentally deleted her painting easel um oh no i didn't why didn't it show up okay whatever it's right there <laughs> so i moved her painting easel over here i made her um yoga area over here added some curtains because it was just too much it was like damn you can see through everything so i put some areas where the light would just shine through regardless um she has this little ios camera i actually haven't tried it but it's from ravasheen um i'm gonna have her take a picture when she wakes up and see how it works because i haven't tried it y'all um not a last exemption soon as i did some shit probably because she was sleeping so she can't take the photo but i'll try it when she's awake um so um i decorated her area for her desk a little bit more so she has her little black lives matter um post well poster i don't know decal i guess that's the word for it i added the plum fruit mod to my game so i went ahead and gave her a nice little plum fruit laptop um a little makeup area she still has some of her old things you know the world on the other side because she wants to travel this cute little painting i found in build by mode some color palettes because she is an artist duh and then stay true stay you boo her so that's her little desk area now um that i added into who is calling beverly devin mccann Woo! not in thunderstorm okay Devin McCann is wondering if I want to go over to her house for a bit. It's BYOB. Okay, she only had two classes today, so mm, why not? Let's go. But hide your lover, of course, her fuckboy movement is back. Um, opportunities around from friends with benefits, relationships, spending time with a lover is the perfect moment to get in the mood. Water is fine from swimming during warm weather. She has her acne immunity. Um, I love chatting from being extroverted she loves fitness beverly's in her element and because she's doing something she prefers increase her fun gains she's having a pleasant conversation with devon she's with people she's extroverted um full ride scholarship acne immunity again feeling valuable from feeler nearby i feel like everything that i say to the sim will be heard without judgment um she has a broken umbrella because it was raining in their neighborhood and other things are on her mind beverly just can't seem to loosen up is kind of killing the mood um beverly got a lot of classwork to get done this semester so let me just look at which classes she has looks like most of her classes won't be for another few days um she has a class at two two and five days away so she has some homework that i'll have her work on a little bit later and she also has soccer practice in about six hours so you know her and Devin are friends with benefits or whatever so let's get to benefiting because she can't stay for too long because she has to be back um you know by the nighttime for soccer 
So I'm going to just go ahead, you know, and see, you know, they're going to go ahead and get a little freaky or whatever, do some teasing by the pool um, and get that out of the way before Beverly has to leave for soccer practice. So she going over, let's head into first person view. Let's see what Beverly sees. This is a pretty nice um, penthouse spot anyways. You see them edges looking fleeky. Fleeky. Oh. Oh, yes. uh, what's happening? Oh, okay. I know that's right. You better walk, 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 period. Now she watching TV, the news. Mm -hmm. She like, girl, you trying to go back outside and do a little public indecent seat together <laughs> let's get into it oh now they disappeared okay there we go uh-uh now she licking her feet girl Garza Cheney Merch. nah we gonna have to change <laughs> we gonna have to change this one because I chose random but no it's not gonna it's not gonna be it for us um Let's choose a different one. Look. Let's do something else teasing that's cuter than having her feet licked. Ew. Um, let's do a little couple goals one. Huh. Purr. Face barking up outside. So. Hold up, do I not have my streamer mod on? Something definitely. I could have sworn I put it in game. Yeah, I don't think my streamer mod is on, but oh well, fuck it. I'ma just blur out what I can, and what I can't just won't be blurred out. <laughs> but let's go ahead and um, I'ma just have a move to the bed so that they can do whatever animations they need to. Oh, there's one upstairs and downstairs. This is a pretty nice spot or whatever. Um, I think this is a CC free penthouse as well. I don't remember where I downloaded it from, but I'll try to remember to link it in the description box below. Um, and let's just do random and have them move over to the bedroom because outside is getting a little too hot. It's currently a heat wave hitting Shem San My Shuno. So, yeah. But yeah, we're just going to go ahead and let them have their little moment. I'm going to just zoom out and blur it out because I forgot to put my streamer mod in game. So yeah, we going to let them do what they do. Or is it in game? It looks blurred. Halfway blurred. But whatever. I'll go ahead and edit this part out when the time comes. Waxing us. Kissing us. What is they even doing? Okay, okay. Bruhana Fabisi. Y'all, I wish y'all could see what I see because this is so chaotic. What is she? Girl. No, nah, we gonna have to. Rinka. <laughs> I'm so dead. Now nah, we're gonna have to change this animation because it's not hitting right. Bar Pasa. Let's just go ahead and do something else. Let's do lesbianist. Let's go ahead and do that one. Oh, well, fine. Gotta go ahead and put it down, Beverly. I know that's right. Vunobi. Nobi. Oh. Put it in work. Put it in the dirt. Period. Yeah, I don't know why Devin ain't blurred out but beverly is and she put in that work i know that's right sis i better go ahead fuck it up sis okay okay go ahead purr yeah i don't know why my streaming thing isn't working but i'm gonna just put a little icon or something and let's have them finish up you know do what they gotta do or whatever Like, maybe I should make a Patreon so y'all can see the deleted scenes, but... Ooh! <laughs> I wish y'all could see this. But it's fine. It's fine. We gonna let them have it. Ooh. That's the only thing I don't like about these damn penthouses. It always glitches at the wrong moments. Put it work. Okay. Okay, Beverly. Okay, Stroke Game. 
You better go ahead. All right, this needs to hurry up because Beverly got to start the practice in a couple hours and trying to get her some homework done before then. All right, just when I said it, they finished. I know that's right. All right, so they went ahead and got, or Beverly went ahead and got her little benefit from her friend. Um, they are both still naked, but fuck it. I'm gonna have Beverly go ahead and head home because she ain't need to be here no more. Um, she got her strap on just walking around. Because <laughs> why not? You know, it's The Sims. Um, period. Uh, so let me at least put some clothes on her so she don't... Well, she already disappeared. It don't matter, y'all. Alright, it's loading. That was a little bit of a chaotic moment, but oh fucking well. I'm gonna see you shortly, or I'm gonna see y'all shortly at the house. <laughs> Alrighty, y'all, we are back in rainy ass Newcrest, back home with Beverly. Um, she's right outside the house, and who's calling Genevieve? Let's go ahead and see. Not all the hoes calling them today. Okay, hey Genevieve, it's me, Elise. Do you wanna go out on a date? Alright, so might as well. Beverly went ahead and got her little boot thing to hang. So let's go ahead and spend some time with Genevieve and her little thing because they are not dating yet so see y'all at the restaurant all right y'all we are here at the date venue genevieve went ahead and changed real quick into her new outfit with the little bayang or whatever but why did this bitch bring us to a fucking trailer container area like what is this where is this even i don't think i've ever been to this location in my damn game it gotta be with the eco living lifestyle with the hell ever, but bitch, you gonna pick the ni nicer place? Like this is literally inside of a shipping container. This is where she wants the date to be. I'm offended, but let's see. Is she going back there to cook? Oh, she washing her hands. Let's go ahead and add her to the family because bitch, you're the one who invited us here. All right, so Elise is gonna do all the work. She's gonna go ahead and order a table request. And hopefully they sit us somewhere nice because this whole place looks a little raggedy, but what can you do? Um, she got her little glass of water. Somebody's phone is ringing. Oh, it's the, it's the restaurant phone. Genevieve is just sitting, um, standing out here. I'm gonna have her go use the restroom real quick before they sit down because I don't want her to have to pee when the food gets there. Um, but it looks like, you know, their love meter is still up from last time. Um, I'm gonna try and low-key see if Genevieve can push her into the friend zone as a friends with benefits because she was kind of crazy the last um, couple episodes with her being like back and forth about how she felt about, you know, Bever or Beverly, how she felt about Genevieve. So we gonna see how she acts this episode. If we got a friend zone her, or if maybe we could, you know, be a little cute pair for the time being. But she's getting a booth, and we are in the bathroom with Jenny washing her hands. Let's see how quickly they see this, cause Lord knows that the dine out expansion pack was the worst thing ever because it takes forever for Sims to feed us and see us. Um, I'm really dead. She brought her to a damn shipping container. Like, girl. <sighs> okay, let's see. Ahmed is going to seat them. Yep, wait to be seated. $50 should be, like, free because we're not actually paying for the food yet. But okay. All right, so they're going to go ahead and seat us. Where's Elise walking to? Soccer for Beverly starts in about one hour. I'm gonna have I'm gonna have her keep taking care of herself, and then when she heads to soccer practice, I'm gonna have her practice passing with her teammates because she needs to build some of those relationships. Are they following this man? Where are they about to be seated? Not they're still waiting. The customer service here is trash. Where did the receptionist go? Is he gone? Okay, looks like he went upstairs. He's coming back down. I think we're next to be seated. Where did he seat them? Upstairs. Oh, there's an upstairs area. Hopefully he seats us upstairs too. Why is this child here by herself? Now she got a table before we did. Girl, if you don't go to school... Oh, it's 6pm. I guess she out of school, but still. There is no chef right here. About to teleport her ass. Because that's what will be taking us forever to get food. 
set. Just reset all of them. Hopefully this helps them actually move quicker, but we gonna see. All right, where is, we still haven't been seated y'all. This is why I hate going out for dine out because it never works. Okay, as soon as I was talking shit, we getting seated. All right. I keep about to start teleporting. Toggle. Out. Out. Move y'all in here. That's where y'all are supposed to be working right now. Or actually, I'm going to put y'all in the middle of the place. And y'all can get to work. All right, so got the waiters and the cooks inside. Looks like we got a nice, you know, a nice little seat on top. Oh, looks like they had a family come, not just a little girl, but I guess the little girl was there first. But I guess this isn't terrible, Elise, with the sun setting across the, con <laughs> the shipping container waters. I guess it isn't terrible, but she could have picked a better place, but we'll let her live. Um, damn, the date time is almost over and they haven't even done anything. Okay. Of course, the waiter goes over there first, but it's fine. I'm going to have Elise, um, blow a kiss. Because why not? Personality archetype. She shows signs of the hero and greedy personality archetype. Okay. Cool. Um, I'm going to have Genevieve ask the what are we question. Or maybe should I have Elise ask it? No. I'm going to have Genevieve ask it once again because the drama. That's what we're here for. <laughs> All right. So we're going to ask her drama by she. Have what are we talk. Um, what else does she say? Elise acquired the shit talking skill. Cool. Alright, they just flirting, talking, or whatever. These niggas is loud as hell over here. Y'all loud asses. Alright. Go ahead. What are they doing? Chatting. No, stop chatting. Go ahead and ask her, what are we? Okay, of course it stopped. Whatever. I'm gonna go ahead and order for the table because obviously this shit don't want to work. But order for the table. Um, let's see what they got on this menu. All right, let's look at these options. It's a Thursday night. Um, let's get them both some rum and coke. Could never go wrong with that. And actually, no, I'm going to get her. I'm going to get Elisa vodka soda. And I'm going to do a rum and coke for Jenny. And for the meal main course this is a breakfast spot why did she bring us to a breakfast spot for dinner uh, i just don't understand um all right so i'll have genevieve do a blt and obviously old girl wanted breakfast so i'm gonna have elise do a french toast because obviously she wanted breakfast because she brought our asses here Thirty-nine dollars. We're gonna go ahead and pay for it. Beverly's off to play some soccer. I'm gonna go ahead and have her practice passing. Increases relationship with teammates. Does not increase performance. No biggie. All right. Now it's dark. Is it warm at least? It is warm. It's partly cloudy. It is Thursday at 9 p.m. Day five of fall. Okay. I was like, it's getting dark. Now she's wearing a face mask at at her date. But yeah, it looks like the date is going well. Um, Elise and her aren't really having any type of conversation. But that's normal, I guess, for them. <laughs> I'm going to have Jenny ask Elise what her mouth do. Because obviously she's not using it to talk for the time being. So what's your mouth do, boo? What's up? I don't know why she's still looking at the menu, but we already ordered for the table. Let's see how long it takes our waiter to get here. 
Y'all, the way I'm really about to just have them end this date and go home because I'm not about to be here waiting for a meal that might never come. Um, let me see. They put in their order. It looks like there's a waitress going in circles down here. Oh, wait. Nope, the cook is in here. The cook is in here cooking. Okay. We might be on to something. I see another waitress walking. We might be on to something, y'all. Okay, maybe let me be patient. I'm going to be a little patient while they're having a conversation up here. Elise is feeling playful. Is this our waitress? Yes, hey waitress. Okay. All right, they getting their food. I'm going to wait till the waitress takes the order. Do I want to confess to having first kiss? Whatever. I guess since they had it together. Why well, it says invite to stay the night. Can't start a date in the middle of another social event. Okay. We're going to confess that. Thanks. Thank you will bring your order out as soon as it's ready. You look like you're having a good time, Genevieve. I guess so. Let's look at her movements. Um, wow, near beautiful sim. That woman is beautiful. So what's up from asking Sim about head game? If it was up to me, we'd be woohooing woo right now. So what's the Sim trying to do? Sentiment game. You're so fun to be around. I really enjoy spending time with you, and I hope you feel that way about me too. Okay, so it seemed like they on better terms now. It wasn't. It was weird the last date, but it looks like there's not confusion. They have a deeply connected sentiment. Genevieve has a sh powerful bond with Elise that is a source of strength and comfort and closer from happy memories. Okay, cool. And Elise got a persuasion skill to help her influence other sense beliefs and behavior against their mind. Okay, that don't really sound the best, but we move. Um, so yeah, they just talking. Um, Elise's sentiment, she feels deeply connected to Genevieve. Um, so I guess they both feeling connected or whatever this is a good sign <laughs> uh -huh. i'm not sure if i want genevieve to just date her right out because genevieve has literally only talked to her ass and there is plenty of fish in the sea so you know i'm just gonna have her uh -huh. just drama by she just have the what are we talk and then i'm gonna see what genevieve's response is not they getting up for this all right, they getting up for this. Okay, Elise wants to know what they are. Ooh. Genevieve's like, okay. All right, I like you a lot. I'm ready to take take the next step when you are. Woo, child. Well, I'm not ready, so Genevieve, you better not ask her to be your girl for another couple episodes, because <laughs> we got other places and other things to see first. Um, let's go ahead and have them sit. I'm going to look at Elise's movements real quick. Um, she's feeling very flirty, as you can see. Let's go then. I hope this mouse, the sim knows that this ain't no game. I would really drop down right now, show them what this mouth do. <laughs> I'm dead. Feeling a close connection. Uh, I hear you from being a feeler. Um, public service. I guess 17 hours ago she had sex in public. Love chatting. She's extroverted. So it looks like we got two extroverts. And we got our order, y'all. Wow. In a timely manner. Look at that. It's a sim miracle. All right. So it looks like their food is pretty good. They got the BLT. Look extra. It don't look terrible. It don't look bad at all. It looks actually pretty real for a BLT. And she got her French toast. So, you know, date night seems to be going well for Elise and for Genevieve. But, you know, let's see how it ends up going in the long run because that's really what matters. Uh, they're both eating. I don't know why. This girl is just hovering over the table, but baby, thank you for the meal. You dropped it off. You did a good job. You can leave now. All right, I'm going to go ahead and remove Elise from the family because we obviously know her thoughts and she seems to really be feeling Jenny. Jenny seems to be feeling her. I'm the only one who's against this relationship. <laughs> so let me know in the comment section below. Do you think that, you know, let me, let me zoom in. Let me zoom in. Uh, or I'm gonna go this way. Do you think that Genevieve should ask Elise to be her girlfriend? Like, what should we do? Should they stay friends with dates? 
Or should Genevieve go ahead and just be like, fuck it, you gonna be my girl? Let me know in the comment section because I don't want them to be together. But if you do, my mind yeah, might be swayed. Mind. But it's a no for me personally. Let's see. Um, damn, she finished her food fast. Genevieve taking her time eating that BLT. But they look good. They got their meals or whatever. And they're just going to have, you know, a little bit of a flirty conversation. Sip on their liquor. And then Genevieve is going to go to fuck home because it's damn near one in the morning. And she has work, even though she works from home and she can just paint and shit. But she still got work. I'm still going to see if they can be friends with benefits, but I'll wait and I'll see if maybe she want to come and spend the night or whatever since they've been having such a good conversation or whatever. Let's go ahead and see what she says. Oh, why is she talking about herself? Are they chatting still? Bon and gravy? Okay. Oh, yes. Oh. All right, a sleepover sounds great, period. Okay, so they both down. Let's go ahead and pay this bill and go home or go back to the house. I guess this place wasn't terrible. The service was pretty fast, which is something that we cannot say for a lot of other places in The Sims. So she might have been on something, at least might have been okay with what she ordered. I'm going to have her stop talking to Elise. Oh, Go ahead and eat. I'm glad we got our food before they did. Look, we did. Look at that. We deserved. The restaurant hopes you enjoyed your meal. Simoleons have been automatically deducted from the household funds. Technically, Elise asked us on this date. So, I'm going to put $39 back because she paid for it. So, that's our money. <laughs> Let's go the fuck home. All right, so hopefully at least. Oh, no, now she got a headache. She better not be sick. Girl. Anyways, we're going to go ahead and head back home with Genevieve. And hopefully at least follows her. It is damn near 2 in the morning. It's damn near 2 in the morning, but they ate and did good. Beverly had a good soccer practice, it seems like. I says keep at it and success is sure to follow period so we'll see well genevieve just disappeared her top half but whatever we will meet back at the house shortly all right so for whatever reason after that date it just put it back to 9 p.m so i'm not gonna complain because they wasted some time with that food and the starting process so we got some of that time back i know that's right so I'm going to go ahead, now that we're back in the house, I'm going to have Beverly and Genevieve get ready for the night and get settled. I'm going to have um, Genevieve go ahead and use bathroom, take a bath, brush her teeth, and go to sleep. Beverly needs to rest and recharge for her next day. She does have work to do. She has another freelance gig that she's doing since she is a freelance artist. Oh shoot, this thing is due at 9am. Girl, we about to be up. Never mind. All right, I'm going to have her use bathroom, brush her teeth. I didn't realize it was due tomorrow. So I'm going to have her create an illustrative painting on the sketch pad. She has it in her inventory still. So, ooh, maybe I lied. Why does she keep losing this damn sketch pad? All right, y'all, give me a second to go into damn uh, build by mode and buy a sketch pad again for Genevieve. All right, we got this damn sketch pad again. Hopefully this time it doesn't disappear, but we gonna see. Put in her inventory and let's see if she can use it to make this illustration. Oh wait, what did I say she had to make? She has to make illustrative painting Oh, it says any illustrative painting. Okay. Let's have her do... A medium illustrative painting. And hopefully she can get that done before 9 a.m. And her client can approve it. Because that's the only way she gets paid. Beverly's ass was at soccer practice. So I already know her ass is stinky. So let me go ahead and have her take a shower. Um, these episodes are going to be a little bit shorter. Um, work is crazy as hell. Life is crazy as hell. So I won't be having as much time to play my game and cut and edit it down for these hour and a half long or hour long episodes. But I still hope you guys enjoy, um, you know, 
and um if you do watch my other let's play that is my single mom let's play i am gonna have to retire that one unfortunately because it was just too much progress that i lost i literally renovated the entire house and i was only able to um basically revive my game or bring it back to about two months ago from all of the backups that i had done they were two months old so it's a lot y'all it's a whole process to actually what is she doing why is she not taking a shower open umbrella i don't know why she keeps opening this this damn umbrella but um yeah it's a it was a whole process for me to fix my game so um i won't be able to do my single mom let's play but be on the lookout in the future for you know a new let's play that i'm going to be coming out with because at this rate y'all it's just way too much work to have to go into each and every one of my save files and bring it up to date we gonna work together it's it is what it is so I hope you guys still enjoy and still come back for more because we're still going to be having fun. I don't know why everybody acts stupid as fuck during the winter or not winter storm, but a thunderstorm. But these bitches better hurry up and get their lives together because we got things to do and places to be. Um, Beverly doesn't have class for two days, but she does have term papers, homework, studying, all that shit that she needs to do. So I'm going to go ahead and, you know, have her spark up. It's not, you know, a Bonnet Chronicle episode without some bud. Have her spark up after she does her homework. I'm going to have Genevieve spark up before or I guess while she's doing her painting. All right, she said, I'm going to just go ahead and paint in the bathroom, which is cool, fine. I ain't mad at it. So she's making her little illustrative painting in front of her area. I added in a little flat iron in the corner I thought was cute, but she still has basically all of her supplies on each side and this is Beverly's side. Um, but go ahead and make a little illustrative painting, sis. I know that's right. I don't know why she gotta be in the mirror to do it, but it looks like it's done. And she over here sparking up, period. With the nails to match. Okay. Okay, hair, makeup, nails, babbage, period. All right, let me go ahead. Um, she has her illustrative painting done. So I'm gonna go and send it to her meet with client. I guess that's what she has to do. So let's go ahead and meet with client, see if they like the picture she drew. Beverly's downstairs doing her homework. She finished that one. She gonna spark up. Let's see what she has to do for each of her classes. She has one class in 15 hours, another class in 16 hours, and she has to take a final exam in both of those classes. But she has a presentation to do and a term paper to do for one of her other classes. So her presentation board is upstairs in her room. It looks like Beverly can now talk to plants to fulfill her social need and harvest plants in a nearby area. So she made it to gardening level four. I forgot to show y'all Beverly's updated room, but this is Beverly's new space. Um, it's pretty much exactly the same. I just cut out the closet area that was here and moved her, um, her desk. I put in some bookshelves in this corner and then I went ahead and moved this area to just be a mirror area. She has a picture of her and Jenny. Um, this is going to be her and like a photo wall of sorts, but this is a picture of her and Jenny right now. The bed is pretty much the same. I just changed the blanket. I threw some, what do you call them? Pillows. <laughs> I threw some pillows in the corner of the room as you guys can see. TV is pretty much the same and um, strip holes still up there. So she looking ashy right now. And it's because I want to say it's either the um, Kawaii Stacy mod or maybe it's the Sheer or not Sheer Burlians, the preteen mod. I can't remember which one. But now my Sims be getting ashy if they don't put lotion on after they shower. I love that she already changed into her bonnet. That's my bitch, period. Um, um, so I'm going to have her apply lotion so that she's not ashy. Lotion. Yeah. But as you guys can see, oh, she got her period. I got to get her some tampons. But dry skin. Oops, looks like I forgot to put on lotion. Well, it doesn't matter unless someone notices, right? Nah, bitch. I notice. Uh -huh. So uh, oh look at her. <laughs> put that lotion on. Does she have enough tampons left? Yes, she does. Have her use a tampon. Something that I wish that base mental would add is like menstrual cups and other, you know, things that women use. 
use on their periods that are not just tampons and pads, but you know, maybe I'll go ahead and discord and put my suggestion in there in the suggestions box or something. Um, but I'm going to have Beverly use, um, the bathroom to change her tampon. And then I'm going to have her get some leftovers because I know they have enough. Okay, where is Genevieve? Oh, Genevieve is meeting with her client. Hopefully she likes or they like the picture that she drew. Um, if not, she has like eight hours to fix it. So we'll see because she is running on E. Beverly is over here, you know, making her notes. She wants to get another A plus for this term and all four of her classes. So she's going ahead and making her little poster, doing her little notes and all that. It's about to be cute as always. And Genevieve is still out meeting with her clients. So hopefully that goes well. Let me save the game before I forget or it crashes on me. All right, game saved. That means I won't lose shit. And Beverly's over here still putting her project together. Damn, the clothes are dirty. She needs to hurry up and do that too. Um, she gonna eat, yeah. Hopefully she can get most of this done. Her class, does she have class today or is that saying the day after today? Oh, class in 12 hours. So she does have class today. So I'm gonna have her go to sleep after she eats because she's gonna need that rest. And whenever Genevieve comes home, I'm gonna have her sleep too and they'll just do laundry in the morning. I've low-key yep. also been thinking about getting them a dog. So I think I'm going to do that this episode and end it off once they get a dog. But, you know, this is her presentation for the sunlight cycle. This is right now, you know, normal quality. But she is going to continue to improve it along the way. She's over here using her tampon, using the bathroom. And she's about to go get herself some food. Actually, it looks like she has enough energy. So I'm going to just have her do laundry, period. Can she not add it? Clothes are already dry. The fuck? Looks like they have clothes in the drawer and the washer. But are they dirty? I'm gonna have her put it down so I can see it first. But she's over here eating some dinner. She's chomping on some, I think this is halibut. Is that how you say it? Halibut, halibut, I don't know y'all. I only be in like salmon and <laughs> so happy. Uh, I am not going to lie. That's my shit. But um, yeah, halibut with yellow rice and veggies. Cause you know, they on their little health kick for the new yeah, year. Horn. Yeah, the horn. Yeah, the horn. Bitch, that's right. <laughs> but yeah, and she got her cute nails on too. But the food be looking good as hell. I'd be like, shit, I want some, some of y'all food too. But look at her with her little Fendi, hmm. her little Fendi belt and her little Fendi fit. Cutie. I wonder what's taking Genevieve back so long. Right there. Speak of the devil. She right back. What's up? Okay. Did it go well? She is exhausted. She is hungry. It says meet with client. They met. I didn't hear anything. So. Okay. Genevieve's time spent with the poet went well enough. She may not exactly get slam poetry. But as long as the client's money is good. Genevieve is happy to keep sketching along with his verbal fever dreams. Cool. Looks like she made another gig successfully. I'm gonna go ahead and just sign her up for another one before I forget. Um, underground, oh, which one of these are more payout? So she can't do all of them because her skill level isn't that high yet, but this $1,300 one looks, looks decent. So I'm gonna have her do that. It's her, it's super low, but fuck it, I don't care. I'm gonna have her get some leftovers then she can do the same, use the restroom, and go to sleep. And while she is using the restroom and going to sleep, I'm gonna have Beverly see if there's any cute dog breeds online that they can find. Cause yes, I do be thinking about the dog breed. I could always go into create a sim and make the dog look a certain way, but I just want it to be semi cute beforehand. So I ain't gotta do that much work. But yeah, let's have her go and do the laundry. Is this clean or dirty? <laughs> Alright, looks like it's clean. So let's go ahead and add that hole to the dryer. Mm. 
okay add it to the dryer and dry that laundry also gonna have Beverly use the bathroom brush her damn teeth and then we're gonna go look for a dog y'all because we we deserve and I'm just in the mood for them to have you know a little furry friend in the house feels like it's too quiet all right let's see my household and let's adopt a dog real hot dog shit period all right she washing her teeth and she about to go look for this damn dog and where the hell is now she passed out with her food y'all look at this shit this is my bitch jenny right here she said i might be tired but this food is never gonna drop this food stays up she really got her whole hand broke back like this i'm weak as hell y'all she needs to wake up and finish eating uh, before that i can't even do that because now i gotta pick a damn pet all right so let's look at the ones that they have to offer all right so they have a Yo Yo yorkshire terrier um she's female and she's spayed that would be cute like a really small cute dog that would stay cute and small perhaps okay i'm over here looking at these on google to make sure that the one i pick is cutest um this is a, ha a habanese but also pretty small hmm maybe i should get them two dogs so they each have their own little cute dog they got a french bulldog he's male and he's neutered um are these both girls okay one's spade and one isn't spade okay um then there's muffin oh that's such a cute name muffin a, a new found foundland dog um i'm looking on google and these get pretty big so now um a boxer usually pretty small and cute a Keyshawn. let me see oh they're pretty medium size eh, they're not that cute all right and these are all adults so all right i'm going it looks like they had a boxer a french bulldog Maybe I'll get, okay, Loki and Grant. I'm going to definitely have to change their names, but both of them are girls. So I'm going to bring both of them over and see which one, you know, warms up to the group faster. Hopefully Genevieve wakes up in time so she can eat her food and go to sleep. All right, you good, girl? Yeah, she, her ass was knocked out. All right, but the dog should be here any minute now. Um, Beverly's downstairs playing some damn video games because that's what she do. What else is she about to do? She's gonna write a note on the, the family board that I put up here. Can't really see it that well, but it is a functional family board. She put up a little note probably for Genevieve and no curfew. Where are the dogs? Oh, they're here. That was quick. Okay, y'all. Oh, wait. What the hell is already happening? Oh, not this bitch a vampire. I don't know why it's black by her feet. Okay, so there's Loki and there's Grant. I don't know why they have given a girl name, a boy name to a girl puppy. But I'm going to have her do a cautious introduction because both of their dogs are so cute. And do a cautious introduction with Genevieve and Beverly. I'm going to have her energy go up just a little bit. Just a smidge so she doesn't pass out talking to the dogs again. Alright. They walking. Where are the dogs? Oh, okay. So she's meeting. She's meeting Loki. And Grant. <laughs> all right these dogs are pretty cute y'all um i don't know if i want to adopt both of them or just one of them and i'm gonna have you guys decide and end the episode here um their names are definitely gonna change because they're not that cute but this is grant okay this is grant this is the first one that we we looked at grant is a damn i forgot what grant was grant was a yorkshire a york a yorkie there we go a Yorkie. So Grant is a baby Yorkie. He's a little puppy or she's a puppy. They're both girls. And this one, Loki, is a, what did they call? A, Hav a Hav Havanese? Uh, I hope I say that right, y'all. I don't fucking know. 
Loki and Grant. Their names are definitely going to change. But let me know in the comment section, y'all. Should they get both of these dogs? Should they only get one of the dogs? And which one should they get? I'm going to end the episode here. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Once again, you know, I'm going to make these episodes a little shorter so I can put them out more frequently. But don't forget, as always, to like, comment, and subscribe. I hope everyone has a wonderful start to their 2022. And I will see you guys on my next video. Bye.